God, that you've equipped us for every good work. Your word says, Lord God, we've been equipped for every good work, Lord God. We just thank you, we praise you, we worship you, Lord God. Thank you for your equipping power, Lord God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord God, for doing this wonder-working, miraculous power, Holy Spirit, Lord. You said when, Lord God, your spirit came upon us, Lord God, that you would give us power, Lord God. And I thank you that for doing miraculous, wonder-working power, the power of armies, Lord God, the power of enablement, Lord God, to do miracles, Lord, the power of riches, the Lord God, the power, Lord, everything that's needed, Lord Jesus, is in that dunamis, miraculous, wonder-working power, you, Holy Spirit, Lord, thank you that we are equipped, Lord, again, for every good work, Lord God, thank you, precious one, Lord, I thank you that those bells, Lord God, on the on the garment, Lord, of the high priest, Lord. They weren't just bells, but they were golden bells, Father God. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, that it's a symbol of your divine nature, Lord God. And God, I thank you we put on the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord. Your word says we just put you on. We put on the Lord Jesus Christ and we make no provision for all the things that this flesh wants to do. We make no provision for our flesh, Lord God. We put you on. We put on your goodness, your grace, your righteousness, the love, the joy, the peace, the patience, the kindness, the goodness, the gentleness, the self-control, Lord God. We put on love all that you are, Lord God. In 1 Corinthians 12, Lord, we put you on, we put you on. We put on all the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We're just putting you on. We put on the armor of God, Lord. We put you on, Jesus. We put you on, Lord. We're putting you on. God, I thank you, Lord, as we put on, Lord God, we are equipped, Lord. Your word says our adequacy, uh uh, it's not in yourself. It's not in yourself, but your adequacy is in me, Lord. We just thank you and praise you that we're more than adequate because of you, Lord. Because of you, because of you, we give you all honor, we give you all praise, we worship you, Lord. So thank you for those golden bells, Father God. God, I thank you that, Lord, your a bell is struck, but Lord, I thank you that. Paul said, you know what, these are just momentary light afflictions because there's glory. Oh, I'm going to give you glory. I'm going to give you glory. I'm going to give you more glory and more and more of me and more and more of my glory. Lord, I thank you. You said all of we, we with unveiled faces beholding as a mirror the glory of the Lord were being changed into the same image by your spirit from glory to glory to glory to glory. There's more glory. There's more glory. There's more glory every hard place as we look into your face, Lord God. There's glory there that, Lord, you are giving to us, Lord. We're being changed, Lord. Being changed, being changed. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, Lord. That was that one line in the song, Lord, I'm weary, my heart's faint, Lord God. Lord, I just thank you, but breathe on me. Well, there's something about, Lord God, when we just get still and let you breathe on us, Lord and say, this is who you are. Lord Song of Solomon, you're the all together, lovely one. There's no one like you. There's no spot or blemish in you. Uh-uh. You're my beloved. But I just thank you, Father God, for your breath, Lord. Thank you for enlargement. Thank you, Father God, that you're turning up the speed. I just see us on a motorcycle and the, the speed's going up, Lord God new swiftness, new liberty, new freedom. It's like the, the liberty bell ringing, symbol of freedom and life. God, I just thank you, Father God. And I just see the Lord's hand just jingling the keys. They're yours. Just take them. Just take them. The Bible says that they're ours. Do you remember? It says he's given us the keys of the kingdom. What we bind on earth is bound in heaven. What we loose on earth is loose heaven what we do, what's not allowed in heaven well you know what we don't allow it on earth do we no and what's what is allowed in heaven oh yeah well this is what, what we allow on earth yeah it's the keys they're just being jingled and i just take them lord you take them take them take them take them thank you precious one we bless you father god thank you father god for the increase over our lives Thank you, Father, for newness, Lord Jesus. I thank you for grace to step into the new. I love 
that God always declares in Isaiah. He says, I declare new things. Won't I tell you ahead of time? I'm like, well, thank you. It's so new that you don't know what's new. It comes knocking at your door, and you're like, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to step into this. Well, it's brand new. It takes faith, right? Brand new. But I love that he declares it ahead of time. He says, I'm bringing you into new things. Come on. Come on. I'm bringing you into new things. And we're like, sometimes we're like, Ooh. anybody ever sat in the same place over and over again? Come on. It's like, we just, we get, we get so comfy and we just get, God says, I've got new things for you, new, new things. He's taking away, he's letting, he's let go of the old. Even new ways of doing things. Anybody ever get stuck in the way they do things? God's going to give us grace. What's grace? It's more than favor. And that's wonderful. But grace is God giving us the ability to do what we could never do in our own strength, in our own might. So what do we do? We just ask for grace because Jesus is what? He's full of grace. Grace and truth. And he gives grace and gives a greater grace to those that say, I just need grace. But we just need grace. We just, Lord, we just need your grace. We receive your grace for the new. To be your bells, Father God. To be, Lord God, that war club, Father God. That shatters the works of darkness, Lord. Lord, I just thank you. Remember what he, Jesus said, that he came to destroy the works of darkness? First John. God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power, and he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil for God is with him. That's an Acts. He says, God's, he's anointed us to do the same works. The Bible says what? First John 4, I mean in John 14, greater, even greater, 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 because we're the body of Christ. Greater, 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 greater. So Father, I just thank you and I praise you for everyone here this night, Lord God, and I just thank you for the greater things, Lord God, that you have for us, Lord. Lord, I thank you, Father, for the miraculous, Lord, and the, um, that we're stepping in to new things, Lord Jesus. God, I thank you that you make us aware, Lord Jesus. Lord, I, I, I thank you that you give to those that ask, you know, ask, 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 Lord you give the most to those that ask, Lord God. You're a God that, Lord, you love people to ask. Lord, your word says to ask and keep on asking, seek and keep on seeking, knock and keep on knocking, Lord God. And it will be given to you, Lord, you'll find and the door will be open. Thank you, precious one, for more, Father God. Enlargement, Lord, over people's lives. This is a time of great enlargement, Lord, and we receive it, Lord. Thank you for opening doors, Lord God, even drawers, Lord, things that, Lord, we've, we've kind of pushed in the back of our drawer. I have a drawer that have, I have drawers that have everything in them. I just put stuff in them. Lord, I just thank you, and I forget what's in them, but, Lord, you're opening drawers, Father God. And God, I thank you. You're pulling out surprises, Lord God. Lord, I was, I saw this picture when I was praying in the back, and I was, I just saw the Lord with one of those party poppers. Anybody ever seen those party poppers that have the little ends on and you, you don't know what's going to happen. You just know there's going to be an explosion. And Lord, I just thank you for the wonder and expectancy, Lord, that you want us to have. Some of us, we've been so beaten down that we for, we, we've lost wonder. We've lost expectancy. But God is the God. He wants us to believe. He wants us to have that hope. Hope is joyful expectancy. God is moving for you. He's moving for you. And then he's got that popper and it's getting ready to pop. Thank you, precious one. A party popper with all the surprises and the confetti and the gifts in there, Lord. Thank you, precious one. God, every heart that's weary, Lord God, I just, Lord, in Jesus' name together, we just speak life into these hearts, Lord God. Healing into these hearts that have been broken and stomped on. In Jesus' name, been disappointed in the name of Jesus Christ. Together we say, be healed, be whole, be strong, be healthy. Lord, take out the wishbone, Lord God, put hope in there, Lord. They just know that they know that they know. God's moving. God is faithful. God's true. Lord, he'll do what he said. He'll do, Lord God. 
God. So thank you, Father God. Thank you for healing. Thank you, Lord God. Lord, I just thank you, Father God. Lord, I just thank you for the salt, Lord Jesus. Lord, that's all over our hands, Father God. And you're the God of the salt covenant, Lord God. You've made covenant and relationship with us, Lord. You stand with us. And you said, I've made you to be salt to this earth, the salt of the earth. Lord, I thank you and I praise you. Your word says if the salt has lost its savor or its flavor, what good is it? What good is it? But God says, I'm, I'm giving you salt. I'm giving you flavor. I want you to sprinkle it all over the place. So I just thank you. It's in your hands. So touch people's lives. Touch people's lives. Remember, he's placed his hand upon you. Place your hand on others and see what he will do. He will work wonders. He's a mighty God. He's put salt all over you to change things, to shift things, to bring flavor and pres preserve this world to touch it for him. Thank you, precious one. We bless you, precious one. Expect, expect, expect. I just thank you. I see the sun coming up, Lord God. Lord, everyone that everyone that's been. When's the day dawning? There's a brand new day, and his mercies are brand new. The sun's coming up. It's brand new. There's mercies for you. Brand new day. His loving kindness is brand new. Brand new. Brand new. Brand new. Brand new. He's rising. The sun is rising. It's a brand new day. It's not night anymore. It's not night anymore. God says, I'm rising up. I'm rising up. There's new mercies. There's new grace. There's new strength. There's newness for you. Thank you, Lord. God, and together we just release the love of God over every heart, every life, Lord God. That they would know that they know that they know they are loved by you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus worship you. Praise you, Lord God. Thank you, precious one. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, precious one. Father, I just thank you. I just see you emptying bedpans and those old bedpans under hospital beds and stuff. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, everything that, that Lord's just been pollution and just, Lord, you're just emptying it out, Lord God. Lord, toxic stuff, you're emptying it. And together, we just, Lord, we, together, we just declare that, Lord, you are breaking through for people, Lord. Lord, those toxic things, Father God, in their lives, in Jesus' name, Lord. God, we just thank you, Lord Jesus, Lord, that you didn't leave us with our own strength and our own power and our own might, Lord God. But, Lord, I thank you for the life of Christ in every person. And we say, be free, be whole, be strong. The Lord is moving. Lord, I thank you, Father God, for breaking things off, Lord, emptying things out, Lord God. Thank you for new beginnings again. Body, soul, mind, and spirit.